All right, guys, welcome back to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2008. And let's go ahead and start off with a one ball against Camila Vijegas at Harbor Town. Let's see. Oh. This is our driver. Okay. Oh, yeah. What is one ball? Okay. For some reason, I like, completely forgot what one ball even was. We win. I should have checked to see in the last video how far we were hitting our driver. For some reason, I feel like we're hitting it shorter than what we were. Definitely hitting our irons better, I'll tell you that. I guess it could be the wind, too, that's in our face. Yeah. That is, we're definitely hitting it further, I think. I think the only way we can hit it a little bit better is if we had a tier 4. Or just tier 3. I just wanted my brand. The brand that I use. This is how you play one ball. You make it so your opponent has to try to make that shot and if not then you have a very good chance of winning the hole all right let's just get this on the green He's trying to make all these uh, big putts and everything. Putting it pretty close for us. Easiest hole right here, and we have the first shot, I think. Yeah. Okay, and again, we just want to put this on the green. Make it so they either have to try or either way, yep, we're gonna be close. Makes it an easy one ball. Five up with four to play. They can't win. Don't know why we're still going, but oh well. <laughs> I know why. It's for the medal and everything like that. Because they can come back and you only win one up. In which place you would get, what, a bronze or a silver or something? Versus I'm guessing three up. Three up is probably gold. And you probably have to, f oh, great putt. See so if we would have tied or won that one. Let's say we won that, I think we would have won. No, oh, I couldn't get it over. I don't know why I thought I could. Alright, back to... 
Back to normal. All right, you gonna make it? Make two big putts in a row, Camilla. Camilla Vigiga. No, okay. Still rooting for him on the tour and everything since he came back. Yeah, there we go. He hasn't made a big impact yet, but hopefully he'll get there. He's missed a couple cuts, and most of the time he's more in like the bottom third of the uh, of the 70 players. But hopefully he gets there. Match play versus Ian Poulter. I'll tell you what though, I feel for some of these guys <clears throat> that are out there now because if you look at the the PGA Tour and what their cuts have been, I think the lowest cut was at the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am and I think it was like minus four or something, minus two, I think it was minus two, that's the lowest one. And that's insane. You know, you have a lot of these. You know, you have a lot of guys that are new on the tour or whatever. Or people that are. Uh, just not, you know, the top in the world. And they don't even have. Someone don't even have a chance because the cut line, you know, is like what was it at the Sony Open? No, there was no cut. No, I'm not the Sony Open. I was thinking of the one Cameron Cam Smith won. I can't remember what that tournament was, but that w that's one of those ones where. The cut line was so high. No, there was no cut. There was no cut at that one, I don't think. There we go. I don't know what I'm saying. I like, forgot what I was saying, like mid sentence. So far this whole year, the, the scoring has been incredibly high. Like, no, I think before, or at least in the past couple of years, you know, I was always used to, when I would watch it on TV, minus, minus 10 was pretty high. But I will say the, I think the most fun tournaments to watch was when it was the 2020 US Open because in the end of that tournament, the course played so difficult that there was only one person over par, uh, under par. Everybody else I think was either level or over par. Those are the most fun to watch. When you see players having to just duke it out with the course. And I don't mean like the weather and everything, because when the weather happens, that just sucks for everybody. But when the course is just plain difficult. Ah. 
Cause I think because uh, all the tournaments that have been going on this year I haven't really been watching too much. I haven't paying attention to it because the scoring is so high. It's just kind of gotten a little it's a little I don't want to say boring, but it's just kind of like a I think most of the like when they played in Hawaii the Kapalua one that one wasn't like oh how are they gonna play this course you know how are they gonna do this hole and this hole is pretty tough or whatever it was that one was more wide open fairways you know pretty big greens so it didn't really prove to be too much of a challenge. I think that's why I love uh, the open so much because usually that one the scoring is never too high like you have maybe five under or something like that because it always plays pretty difficult closest to the pin with Christy Kerr That's not great. Again, seven feet. Where are you aiming? Not sure what she was trying to do with that, but okay. There we go. Again, she's just aiming way the right. Bronze. <sighs> but that's why, uh... I think that's a big reason people like to watch the Masters so much. Is because it, the course always plays pretty difficult. Long drive. And the players for me, unless there's a lot of people that I'm rooting for, um, you know near the near the top after day one and day two that one's not too exciting for me just because sawgrass you know you've played it a million times in the games and normally that's a course that they can usually go really low on so you're just like eh, eh. Don't get me wrong, it's still really fun to watch when they go really low. But to me, I gotta have a, a lot of the guys that I'm a big fans of there as well. Yeah, I'm sorry to say, but I don't think anyone's beating me in long drive right now. I think Tiger would be the only one that would come close.
skins versus Paula Kramer. I do think the the Pebble Beach one wasn't bad scoring though. That one was what won that nineteen under was it? That's pretty good. I was rooting for because I didn't watch any of it. I just didn't have time this weekend. But I was rooting for Jordan Spieth. But you know, first time winner won it, and you you can't always. I mean, you can't. Uh, can't be mad at that. First time, first time winner winning one, especially at such a, you know, at Pebble Beach. That's got to be like a dream come true. I mean, obviously winning a, winning a professional tournament, but at you know, at Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach is another one where they play the they play the pro land there every year, but that's the only time they ever play Pebble Beach. And I'm just not really interested in the pro am at all. Cause like, I mean, this year the only person that played in it that I like is Bill Murray. You know, he he's in it every year. You gotta love Bill Murray. Other than that, it's nobody. I don't watch any other sport. So it's like, oh, that guy's a football player. I don't like football. So. And not too many people that I'm, you know, big fans of really playing it. You know, Jordan Spieth played in it. Um, Cantley played in it. I like Cantley. Um... But not very many people played it, especially this year. And I think that has to do with that, whatever was going on with the Saudi tournament or whatever on the Asian tour. Most of them were down over there. Oh, dang it. He had Dustin Johnson, Roy McIlroy, Bryson. He had to withdraw because of injuries. He's been having some... It's weird because he's been having injuries the past couple tournaments, but he still tries to play in them. And it's like, dude, all it's going to do is make it worse. Just take a couple of weeks off. Really? How does that work? Okay. So Harold Varner the third one. Cool. Good for him. Wait, no, McElroy wasn't in that. He was in the Dubai tournament. I got him mixed up. Sorry, scratch that. Wipe it from your memory. Yeah, he was in the Dubai one, which 
apparently they were it was because of the winds it was incredibly difficult that was a good shot right there I knew it wasn't enough, but I was like, I know I'm going to hit it too hard. <laughs> Didn't hit that one hard enough. That's all right. Twelve mile an hour wins to three. Just a smooth, calm 30 foot eagle putt made, you know. That's how you do it. Laying up, sensible. You know, you got water in the front. We don't lay up if we can go for it, though. Yeah. It was really safe, though. Middle of the green. You know. Oh, God. I'm misjudging them again. Oh, so much. Last hole. Actually, if we can get the next thing done before half an hour is up in the video, I'll go ahead and do Natalie Gobis as well. That wins go full power. Got a shot right. Just shot to the right. this yeah and with it not saving and everything that's why I'm doing I'm recording so many of these back to back um, I don't I really don't know what it is like I have made sure right, part three challenge versus Retief Goosen I've made sure I've exited out of this and it saves when you do that. If you don't exit out of this, it didn't save. Um, I've went to, once I've exited out of here, I've went to skills, done the skills. 
saves when you exit out of that. So I've saved twice. And then I'll come back on and all of a sudden the last hour and a half that I played is just not there. Didn't save any of it. None of the skills, not the circle that I did, nothing. went by that much it was uphill it was showing me going past it you know hardly any went past five feet Oh, look at that. Ball went way up there. Try and trick me. Oh. Alright, we're tied up at one under. Two holes to play. No! A little too far. Really? There was no break at all. Alright, we're winning by one. Got a 170 yard par three. I'd be a light 7 iron, depending if it's downhill, I hit my 8. If it's downhill, wow, I might hit, I might hit, it's downhill 5 yards, so yeah, I'd hit my 8 iron. Which is what I'm hitting now. This, it says it goes 168, so the hole is 180. Not 170, like the scorecard said. Scorecard is wrong because the pin's in the middle. Oh. Ooh. Breaks your heart. Bronze. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, it's a stroke play. Are you kidding me? I swear to God, it better save this. No wonder everything that we had to do here, except for the one skins, was really short.
Oh my god. Before that, I was gonna say she better play really well on a stroke play thing, but no. Three putt on the first hole. That was a good putt. Oh, I didn't even notice we're at East Lake. In the PGA Tour games, or the 2K games, I should say. East Lake is like the hardest course on the PGA Tour schedule. Don't think this hole is drivable in real life. It was uh, it's th it was 367. It says on the scorecard. Remember these scorecards are wrong a lot. Again, that far right, really. the lip that was the hardest hole on the course it says if I hadn't driven it so far to the right should have been an easy birdie One sixteen power goes into the rough. Of course it does. One thirteen power. Come on! Wow. Another yeah, club or two. I was thinking that the uh, that all that extra power that I can get now consistently would have <sighs> would have pretty much gotten it all the way there, but. With the wind being in my face 12 miles an hour, I think I'll lie at only 78%. Uh, one getting there.
Oh, that's not enough. Never mind, it is. Just about perfect. That's what I was worried about. But, uh, I had no- nothing to worry about, apparently. Definitely did. Oh my god. Ooh. Definitely don't want to aim over there, you know. But I do want to hit it over there. Whoa. I'm on a tea box. Man. Bull. Bullshit. And I hit the tree. <sighs> and you can't concede it. I just realized because it's stroke play. I was like, I'm just going to concede the hole. Whoops. I hit my chair really loudly. So this is for par. Almost out of bounds again. That is complete BS that that's out of bounds. Wow. Okay. From minus eight to minus four probably. Of course it does. Oh. Alright, 89, not bad. Wind in your face though, gotta use a wood. Super high wood. Six at least. And we go to the back nine. Wind did absolutely nothing to that. Went straight, stayed straight. Oh. 
Not too far, but that is okay. From where we were having to get over that tree. Never know. Look, I did it again. Again, I, I either need to make myself bring the stick further to the left or make myself aim further to the left because it is always going right. Oh, I misjudged that. That was the easiest hole in the course, apparently. Man, it must be playing from that kid's tease or something. as much as I thought even less if I would have well if I would have hit it the, uh, the proper distance Tried to make a, tried to hit a big draw on there and it went dead straight. He even saw blue in the swing. Well, at least I'm not there. Oh wow. How that went 100% when it was uphill in the rough wind in my face and I only hit it 92% I will have no idea. bogey well, I guess it's not as bad as my triple bogey but I at least went out of bounds on the tee shot so you know, there's an excuse at least should do anything with it.
Wow. Still a shot on the third one. That's weird. It's crazy. God. What? Stop it. It won't stop going all the way up. What? And now it went all the way down. I don't know. You would think being this far up the scale, the tier, or whatever you want to call it, that Golbus wouldn't be finishing probably over 10 over par. I'm beating her by 20 shots. That's so weird. She should have been like the first person you play or something. If she was going to be this bad. In, out, then back in. Wow, I didn't even put backspin on it. I think shot back 15 feet. She's going to finish worse than 10 over. Two holes to play. I had a triple bogey and I'm still minus 12. Of course. I've been able to drive four greens. Unfortunately, one of them that I could drive, I went OB. Because <laughs> I went too far. But the other ones that I could drive, I think I did. Obviously, this one. Too much. Hey, if I didn't have that triple bogey, I would probably finish at 30 shots ahead. Because I'm at 24 right now. Probably be at least 25 or 26 by the time it's done. I'm definitely at least 26. Unlock the East Lake course. Super easy from the kids tees, though. I'll say that much. Yeah, sixteen shot uh twenty six shots. With a birdie on the hole that I tripled, that would have been thirty shots that I beat her on. They wouldn't they needed to up that difficulty on here. Because
Everybody, she was above Jim Furyk and everybody. Anyway, that's gonna end this one. Uh, we were able to do a whole thing in here. There's Annika Sorenstam. We got her. We got JB Holmes. And then John Daly. So we'll probably do. The next one we do will probably be JB Holmes, Annika Sorenstam, and then John Daly. But five more to go until we reach the last two. Let me do this to make sure it saves. And you all witnessed it. And in fact, you know what, let's go to our, let's see if we can do anything with skills. And then we won't touch skills until we finish the next three. How about that? Done with that. So power boost we are finished on. Same with putting. Alright, and it's saving here. So, hope you guys enjoyed this full thing. Now the goal is this uh, little tree. Um, join me in the next one. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.